charts that we can render. So for example, I can use something like a pandas data frame and I can generate some random values and associate those with columns A, B, and C. And what I can do here is create something like an area chart. So what I've done is said, okay, st.subheader area chart, and then I'm rendering an area chart from this chart data. And you can see we get an area chart popping up here with our labels A, B, and C. Notice I didn't need to pass any options here. I didn't need to define the scale. It just rendered it probably exactly what I'd like. And you can see here that I can kind of zoom in and interact with the chart, make it bigger, I can click on this and save this as an image. This is just all built into this default component. Now, if we go down here, we can do something like a bar chart. So that's what you can see. So right here, we say st.barchart. And then we've got a bar chart popping up. This is kind of what it looks like. We have the ability to do a line chart, which is this one right here. We can do a scatter chart or a scatter plot. That's what I typically call it. So you can see that we've rendered some random data points for X and Y here. And then we did our scatter data. 